Newton. How are you? You had some great swims tonight, the Tour Free and 100 Fly. How's it feel to be back in the Grand Prix circuit? It feels wonderful. Um, I feel really at home, and the best thing is, is I don't feel any stress of any kind, and I'm just having fun. And it's been a long time since I've had fun at a swim meet. Wonderful. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying myself. That's great. great. Well, so I know, obviously, you've been in public about your fact that you went through an eating disorder, and obviously you've been on the U.S. national team as well as the World Championships, and have had all of you have a fabulous career. Yeah. But I know you've gone through a huge change in your life because of, of healing from the eating disorder. Do you mind sharing a little bit about that? Yeah, um, I was in treatment twice, um, starting in January, um, and it took me a really long time to figure out what was wrong, why I was doing what I was doing to myself, and it kind of just hit me that swimming um, enabled the problem, but it wasn't the problem, and so I realized that my happiness cannot be based on a sport, it cannot be based on a relationship with a parent or a friend, you know, life is what you make it, and so... I'm just doing my best to create my own happiness in every situation and kind of check the facts and what's reality and what's, you know, my, maybe my eating disorder attacking me. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Well, that's wonderful. So you have a very different outlook on life. Yes. Um, I feel more as a person rather than maybe Dagny the swimmer. Yes. And for a long time, I just was lost in this swimming identity. And I thought, you know, swimming was everything. And if I wasn't good at swimming, then I was a failure. And so I, I had to really tell myself and work with, you know, therapy sessions and whatnot that I, I have good qualities as Dagny the person. So, yes. Yeah. And it's funny because many of us, it's easy to get caught up in thinking that we have to, to be defined by our titles or medals or a certain role, and then we start losing ourselves. Who are we? Yeah. So what would you recommend for little kids out there who might struggle sometimes with, gosh, am I good enough as a person? Um, I think... Go towards those things that make you happy. Um, your friends, maybe family time, a hobby. Um, I, for me, now, when I'm away from the pool, I don't think about the pool. I do whatever I can to keep my mind off of training and you know, whatever keeps me happy and keeps me a well-rounded person. So, yeah, just don't get too caught up in just you know, one thing. This is one part of who, who you are and what you do, and it doesn't have to define you. Yes, exactly. Yes. Well, obviously, you had some great swimming tonight, as we mentioned. I know we have World Championship trials next summer. I bet you're getting excited about all that stuff. Yeah, I am. I'm, you know, I took seven months off, six to seven months off, with absolutely no exercise. And so I think I'm doing fabulous right now, considering. And I'm just excited to see what I can do next summer, what kind of, I think I have a lot of potential, and just um, see what I can do after everything I've been through. And, you know, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, you know. It's a four-year plan for me, and yes. I'm just excited to be around my friends on the pool deck. And I've got really in perspective now. I'm, I have the opportunity to be here, and I'm really thankful for it, because, you know, I could be in a hospital, you know, you know, worst condition that I ever was. And so I'm just super thankful to be here. We are a powerful force for U.S. swimming, and we really appreciate that you're back and you're healthy. And it's so nice to see you so 